What's up guys, for today's video I got out here pretty cool money machine coin bank and it's also pretty vintage and never been opened. So, like a time capsule, let's open it up. Does it tell me the date when it was made? Nope. But anyways, this is a coin sort. I hopefully it's not broken because I bought one of these before and this thing was messed up. Anyways, going to grab coins and let's look at it. This is a quarter, this is a penny, look how cool it is, it runs, it detects the weights of it and it goes in a separate container where it's supposed to go. Looks like I can only go one at a time because it will mess it up, but who, how cool is that? Definitely satisfying way to save money. Look at that. Wow, let's zoom in on this part a little bit closer. Wow, look at that. Another quarter, 20, I mean one penny. You see how it's spinning it on completely other, the other side. What happens if I go too many? Oh, it gets stuck. So definitely don't go too many. You want to go one at a time. Okay, five cents. But you can still go pretty fast. Ten cents. Wow, look at that. It goes way far end over here. Looks like I have mostly quarters. Quarters kind of lame drops over here. One cent is travel the farthest. Okay, let's a little bit zoom in. Look at it one more time. So as you can see, one at a time for sure. Also, it's pretty fragile because I have bought one before and it broke on me. And in here you can stick cash in. That's pretty awesome. You open it up and boom, set it down. How cool is that, no? You can take out and it also counts how much money you have here. Pretty awesome. And you can close it, I'll close it carefully. And you can go again at it. You see, if I go too fast, it'll go in a own hole. So definitely one coin at a time. 10 cents, and it works every time, by weight, and 5 cents. How cool is that? So satisfying. Love it. Putting it into my Beard Coin Bank collections. Got another pretty cool product from Amazon. Don't touch the box. Let's see what's inside. Cool. This has always been advertised to me on Amazon for so long and I never put it to the test. It's just like useless box, but I would say a little bit more upgraded and more like a toy for kids a little bit better. I'm surprised this is actually wood. I thought it would be plastic. Wow, super cool. So there's on and off. That's very nice. So that way you can conserve the batteries. Okay, what we're gonna do is open this. <laughs> that is funny. Oh wow, that's way cooler than that unknown box. Look, he's playing with me. It's a little tiger, I think. <laughs> Look at that, he played with me. All over never they do different type of algorithm. You see, he's just playing. Oh, I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> this is such a cool toy. I'm surprised I haven't bought it in a while. That was funny, smash his own hand. He's mad. It's pretty loud too, I like it. And it's cute too. Now nah, he's doing it very, very slowly. That's already we've seen. So this is so cool. Different angle for you guys. 
this is just a very cool present in my opinion. Useless box, the simple one, it does exact same thing over and over again. This is constantly different algorithm, different movements. So this is super cool and the quality is very nice. Whoa, he scared me. It all wood, so I thought it looked like it's plastic, but it's not. I have no idea how to replace batteries and stuff like that, but there is on and off right here. <laughs> Look, he's checking if I'm going to open and stuff. Battery is probably gonna last forever, but there you go. Super unique toy over here. I think it'll be a cool present. Stay up, just put it in your office desk or something, relieve some stress. Play it with this thing, forget about everything. Super nice. This is kind of satisfying. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you know what I just realized? It comes with the rechargeable USB. That's nice. This CO2 tank screw on, not all of them will work the same. So those other CO2 tanks you might buy at Walmart might not work. So. I recommend if you order one of these poppers, order CO2 tanks as well. Whoa! It actually shut off so fast, it kind of works. I will have to hold on a CO2 tank and pull it like that. That's what you're supposed to do. That was crazy. Okay, I'm figuring it out how to use this. Do you see it? It shut off so much, but the biggest problem is those stringers didn't really expand till they hit something. Once they hit the wall, then they kind of go everywhere. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's try this again, but with the different confetti. I got some confetti like that. Hopefully this will work. I don't even know how I'm gonna put it in there. It probably will take me a while. But we'll figure this out. You know what guys, next what I'm gonna do is get regular confetti and stuff it up in there and see if it's going to be better than the stringers. It's gonna take me forever, I should have bought it. They actually sell a confetti stringers in those plastic bags, so that way it's easier to reload it. But looks like this works as well. My only question, will they actually shoot off? I'm actually going to shoot it at you, just to see what it's going to look like. Alright, you guys ready? I'm ready. Whoa! That's so awesome! That was so much better. Let me try this again. Wow, I'm gonna shoot it a lot higher this time. Whoa! Look how much! This right here, this confetti is so much better. Wow! It shut off so much. That's insane. I'm gonna have to do this one more time at least. It's so much fun. I cannot believe it, but it works. You know, CO2 tanks are really cheap. You can get like 50 of them for 30 bucks. Confetti is really cheap. You can even buy the smaller pieces of confetti and just pour it into it so quickly. They also sell those rechargeable stringers and confetti into this little baggie so that way it's really easy to charge as well. You know what? I really like it. They could have been a lot easier to pull on it, I think there is some other better design than this one because this one doesn't really penetrate it as I really have to pull it hard to pop the CO2 tank so it pushes everything out. But it's still really cool. Let's do this one more time. This is probably the coolest thing ever. I really packed it up this time a lot. So let's see what it's going to look like. Another part I have to hold it by CO2 tank right here. So Hold it like that, let's see what happens. Whoa, look at that, that's insane. Probably all of you have made at some point a potato cannon. Guess what, you don't have to anymore because you can buy it from Amazon, already assembled one, and this one is mini. Pretty high quality looks to me, already open it out of the plastic, it tells you the warnings on it, and simple assembly is like that and they sharpen it up this edge 
to cut to the potato you don't want to stuff a full one and they say use the hairspray also the clicker is right here and spin is right here super nice anyways I got a couple of potatoes let's load it up and see how it's going to shoot by the way safety is number one priority for this thing I am mean, using gloves and safety glasses okay got a flat potato and you don't want to use the whole potato there's actually pretty good instructions look at that large potato my potato was might be small then use a rod to push it down the barrel so we're gonna do just this oh wow it's super simple once the chamber spray recommended quantity of hairspray see individual kennel description and close the chamber carefully fully screw the top about the 12 inches the smallest one so this is two and a half second spray one and two and a half then we close it close it tight put safety on okay let's see what happens nothing happens I don't know why Woo! <laughs> Maybe too much hairspray It didn't shoot very far either, that was weird Okay, one more time, I up a safety a little bit This time I'm only gonna do two One, two Because there's just not enough oxygen Okay, close it, tight, and hold it and shoot. That is annoying. I know why it doesn't shoot. Not enough air or something. Okay. As you can see, it doesn't shoot every single time. It doesn't shoot very far either. I don't want to over flood it to where you don't have an oxygen so nothing will uh, light up. Also, it seems like it's not lighting up and whenever it does shoot, it seems like it doesn't even shoot that far because it's just so tiny, I guess. I like that there's a sharp pen, easy to cut too, but yeah, it's pretty weak. I got it here, levitating ice cream bowl from levitatingx.com. So let's open it up. This is going to be the base. Wow, fancy. Okay, we're gonna plug this in and then we're gonna set this two pieces into here. And there is on and off. We're gonna turn it on. And this right here is the bowl. So perfect for ice cream and whatnot. Whoops, about to break it. Except I just broke off the magnet a little bit. Oh well, it will be okay. So, turn it off first, place it, turn it on, and then remove these two things, and guess what? This thing is levitating. How cool is that? And, whoa! That's scary. <laughs> I was gonna say, it is really, really strong. You know it's kinda cool? You can just remove this magnet. You see, all it is is just glued to it. Oh no, there is another magnet too. Maybe place something else on top there. Let's try to do just the magnet first. Not, not enough weight. Then this one right here. I guess you could do it like that too. Or is it all of bounce? Nope. Boom. And again, it's levitating. How cool is that? It's not that high up. I don't see it's quite high. Let me show you close up. I don't know if I would eat ice cream to it, but let me show it to you. Napkin right here, right to it, under it, no problem. How cool is that? So, it is definitely levitating. 
I can even touch it, no problem. It's just so satisfying when it's just levitating, flying, looks like magic. But I'll tell you what, if you're going to try to eat ice cream off of this thing, it's going to be keep falling on you. Because you know how ice cream is, you gotta kind of scoop it. I mean, you kind of could eat it, but who would want to eat a levitating ball? I guess kind of cool. Look at that wiggling. So epic. And then you can spin it a little bit, bounce it. Very interesting invention. What do you guys think? It's a little cool for display, but I don't think I would actually eat out of it because it's gonna keep falling on you. You see, like that. And it's gonna just make a mess.